RCS players are the guys who don't just do something, they think about why they're doing something. When you watch an intense chess match and you're seeing a battle of the minds, a battle of tactics that isn't even just on the board, it's five moves ahead, 10, 20 moves ahead. This ability for the action to just kind of turn on a dime. If you know the person you're playing, you might know what their favorite tactics are. You know, you think you got that game wrapped up and then all of a sudden two bases go down, another base gets built. They think they've got you, they've got their units coming in and then you just drop death out of the sky. Do you build for long range siege? Do you go air? Do you go heavy guns? What's my enemy doing? How am I going to counter react to that? Time's ticking down, the score's ticking up. I've taken on board what you've thrown at me. Now I'm going to dismantle that. First thing I had to figure out was who we were going to work with on this and my mind immediately went to creative assembly. They are synonymous with RTS. These guys have been doing this for 20 years and they're still at the top of their game. We wanted to make this feel like a game that was very much a sequel to the original. And we already have a wonderful RTS and we're trying to build on top of that. What we really wanted to do was add layers of depth so that a wide range of players could have a fantastic time. Bring those players in and go, actually, it's not really that complicated. It's a real action-focused strategy game. We're also doubling down on the size of these environments so I have the space to get involved in some serious combat. If you want to practice your base strategy, you can go into domination, you can go into deathmatch. If I'm in the mood for a fast game, I can jump into strongholds. So we've got different kind of ways to play the game for different kind of players. We absolutely want those hardcore players, and we've absolutely got games and game modes that are suited to that. But then we've got, on the other end of the spectrum, modes like Blitz. It's something nobody's ever done before. Blitz is a whole new way to play RTS. We're really excited about Blitz. It really changes the way people will look at RTS games. Blitz is a fast-paced arcade action version of Halo Wars 2, where instead of building your army at a base, you're building them before a match as a deck of cards. And you fight by deploying cards from your hand into the battlefield in real time. There is no base building, there is no economy management, it's all about the combat. I don't want to worry about tech trees, I don't want to worry about resource collection. The original design intention for Blitz was to make something really accessible that everybody could enjoy. Whether you're new to strategy games or an RTS veteran. Experience the really cool bits of RTS, so commanding a huge army, bringing down huge leader powers. all about playing the right card at the right time. At the end of the match, you're wielding these large forces with all sorts of different powers and abilities. And start bringing out bigger guns, marauders, blister backs. Even if you're a really seasoned vet, it's such a different way to play an RTS. Building a deck is going to be heavily influenced by the leader that you choose going in. You'll have a number of cards that are unique to that leader. Trying to differentiate each leader to make them feel like they have a unique purpose and a unique play style. I tend to be a little more aggressive when I play, so I will lead towards like an Atriox or a Decimus. I like that we're taking a risk. We're making something really exciting that I think people haven't seen before. You're playing with the units on the field, you're playing with the leaders and the abilities. I think you're also taking on the player and you're reacting to what their actions are. You really can turn the tide. There's always an opportunity to kind of fall back to your base, shut down your opponent's tactic and then come forward with a strategy of your own. That's one of the joys of RTS is the, the battle's never over until it's over.